And with that rush of adrenaline, I feel officially initiated into the Hawaiian culture. So until next time, aloha and mahalo. Ready? <laughs> I can't get the key out of the ignition. Okay. <laughs> and then you pull up to the Four Seasons, and I can't park here. <laughs> Just call me Grace. I'm Pat Perez. Welcome to Inside the PGA Tour. Thanks for joining me today. We've got a great day planned. Straight ahead on Inside, we're off to the Scottsdale, Arizona home of Pat Perez, defending champion of this week's Bob Hope Classic. While our host captured his first career win last year, we crunched the numbers to find the players most likely to break through for their first victory this season. It drives me. Of course, I'm upset, but you can spur that into making you a better player and someone that tries harder. At the Sony Open in Hawaii, Ryan Palmer leads wire to wire, earning career victory number three. In the Arizona desert, our host is ready to take over the show. <laughs> I'm going to show you a little bit of my house, meet the family, meet some buddies up at the club, and a little bit of fun on the golf course. Enjoy the show. It's three for me, by the way. <laughs> Ryan Palmer earns his third career PGA Tour victory on Sunday at the Sony Open in Hawaii. The 33-year-old sits tied atop the FedEx Cup standings with SBS championship winner Jeff Ogilvy. Robert Allenby kicked off 2010, capturing his seventh career PGA Tour runner-up finish. The Aussie ended the week tied for first in greens and regulation, vaulting Allenby to fourth in the standings. Steve Stricker jumps five spots this week after collecting his second top 10 of the season. Thanks to four consecutive rounds in the 60s, Stricker's now posted seven top 15 finishes and only 11 starts at Wildlife Country Club. With their wins, Palmer and Ogilvy top the FedEx Cup point standings. SBS Championship runner-up Rory Sabatini is third. The big mover of the week, Nathan Green, he moved up 13 spots tonight. I'm going to give you a little tour of uh, what goes on inside and things I got going. So come on. Well, this is the outside cabana here. When I bought the house, this was all dirt. So I thought, what better area than to make something for the summer, because it's obviously 130 degrees here. So I put the TV in, come from out of the pool, sit back down, have some drinks, whatever. This is basically the meeting place for the summer. We have some fun out here. Pat Perez is no longer the bombastic rookie of eight years ago. He's settled down. He and wife Athena got married in December of 2008, about a month before his first PGA Tour win. I'm definitely different now. When I was on tour, I was 24, and I was just kind of a fly by the seat, you know, always hang out with buddies and do whatever, and oh, okay, I'm gonna go play some golf, I'll be back. But now, I've gotten married, I've got a house and it's different because now I got someone else that I get to share it with, but I also have someone else's opinion that really matters. So it's marriage, it's great. We've met seven and a half years ago, so we've both kind of grown up together and we're still growing and we'll continue to grow. So as we get older, family's more important now and staying home, being together, spending time together is more of a focus for us. So I guess we're just maturing together, growing old. Oh. Perez cherishes time at his Scottsdale home and playing with his two dogs. Come on. Come on. There we go. There he is. He doesn't come out much. This is a rare sighting. <laughs> That's a Cosman, though. You say hi, buddy? Hmm? I had to pull his hair to get the Pomeranian, and that was about five years ago. It was like pulling teeth. He did not want it, and now that dog is like his little... Muffin. I mean, he loves the thing. It's so cute to see them. 
Basically, I've made the house now to where I don't have to leave. When I come home, I've got everything I need. I got all the TVs I need. I got all the grills and the food, and people come over and hang out. But when I come home, I really don't go out. I don't really don't know anything. I don't want to leave my house. Mostly, I hang out with the guys at the club and baseball guys around here. You know, Nick Punto's here, Brian Roberts here, Pat Burrell. You know, Eva Longoria just joined our club. We've got a pretty cool group at the club that I hang out with all the time. We always meet about 11:15 for lunch, and then we go to the range, and then go on the course and come home. That's pretty much the day every day. We're becoming more comfortable in our life and settled and getting ready to start a family, you know? That mentality is just more grounded and there's a solid base for both of us. Mentally, he's in a really good place, yeah. Still ahead, the stars align for Pat Perez at the 50th wow. Bob Hope Classic. It couldn't have been scripted any better for me. Plus, the numbers are there, but the wins aren't. A look at players starving for stats to count. If you judge yourself solely on winning tournaments, it wasn't a success at all. Inside the PGA Tour, brought to you by Idea, the number one hybrid iron sets in golf, only from Adams Golf. Sprint, the now network. I believe in helping children and families in need. I believe the arts can help people with disabilities. I believe every mother should have access to quality prenatal care. I believe in supporting our wounded warriors and their families. I believe in funding medical research and education. I believe when natural disasters strike, we should all lend a hand. At the PGA Tour, we believe in helping others. Because together, anything's possible. Looking for the perfect golf gift? We've got it for you. The PGA Tour produced a three DVD set entitled The Science of Golf. Featuring the tour's top players, designers, and teachers. The special offer is yours for the low price of $39.95. Just log on to shop.pgatour.com and order your Science of Golf DVD series today. If you think about it, this is what makes the ladders different from other job search sites. We only want the big jobs. Jointheladders.com. Only 100K plus jobs and only 100K plus talent. And now, all premium members get a free resume critique. Introducing the new Premier Rewards Gold Card from American Express. The only charge card that earns triple points on airfare, double points on gas and groceries, a single point on everything else. Points you can use for over a million rewards, including travel on any airline, anytime. The annual fee for the first year is on us, and you can earn 10,000 bonus points with your first purchase. Start earning brilliantly. Call 1-800-AXP-GOLD or visit axpgold.com to apply. Golf Channel Wednesday. Golf 2K10's just getting started. And the stars are out in the California desert for the Bob Hope Classic. Some of the PGA Tour's biggest personalities are ready to rock alongside top celebrities. The race for the FedEx Cup begins its West Coast swing. Be there for all five rounds of the Bob Hope Classic, beginning Wednesday live at 2.30 Eastern and in prime at 9, only on Golf Channel. To help improve your game on the course, Inside presents Fitness for the Fairway. The mountains of Draper, Utah, is a strange place to find a PGA Tour star. But hidden amongst their shadows, you might find Mike Weir. The 2003 Bob Hope Classic champion sweats daily through vigorous fitness routines, each exercise offering golf-specific movements to get him ready for the season to come. I feel nice and grounded with my feet. I'm not jumping up off the ground. I'm trying to hit that right into the ground. The term sharpen the saw. Try to use a saw too long, it gets dull and won't work anymore. And that's kind of how I, I look at my body. If you don't take care of it, it's going to break down. Go ahead, man, get after it. Pull them in. Pull them in. Get the hips up. Early in my career, I definitely felt like, you know, I was maybe ahead of the curve on what a lot of guys were doing out there. So anytime you can do something extra, you feel like you might have an edge. So I press one arm overhead and curl. 
the same time. I think I've evolved and have the knowledge now to know what works for me and what doesn't. And there's not really much searching for what I need to do now. Excellent, good. Explosive from here. I catch it on the way down, explosive back. I'm not just working out just for the sake of just working out. I'm doing it because I feel like it's gonna help my career be long-term and help me become a better player. Try three more, two more. Come on, get up there, one more. Ah, done. <laughs> well, here we are in one of my bedrooms here that we uh, converted from bedroom actually into kind of a collection area now. I've got stuff all over from friends that have signed jerseys and stuff from Iron Maiden, stuff like that. I got surfboards and all kinds of stuff, but the main reason this room was built, and now I can finally call it a trophy room, is I've got uh, my trophy in here. So we kind of uh, we kind of put the room together, but this was going to be the centerpiece of the entire thing. You know, obviously I won the Bob Hope, and there's a picture of me and Mr. Palmer, and he signed the flag, and we made this this cool piece, and Wayne Gretzky signed me a bottle from his own vintage there, and I've got his stick up there in the ceiling, but the whole room is just filled with stuff from people I know and, and kind of stuff we've gathered over the years, and it's finally, now I get to call it a trophy room and hopefully add a lot more to them. It took Perez 198 starts to earn that trophy. And the realization of his lifelong dream hinged on the final approach shot, nursing a one-stroke lead at the par 5 18th. We were so close to the green, 199 yards, with the wind off the right, that helps my draw. I really got the whole world to the right. And I heard from the gallery, you know, lay up, lay up, and I thought, hey, and I'm not laying up. As soon as I hit it, I knew it was gonna be enough club. I knew I could hit a six iron that far. And, and then the crowd went crazy, and I thought, it's gotta be good, that's gotta be good. It was just a huge sigh of relief, it was on, you know, I knew I could three putt and win. The script was much the same back in Perez's rookie year of 2002. He had a one-stroke lead, headed to the 18th at Pebble Beach. And the resulting meltdown was still in his mind seven years later, standing in the 18th fairway at the Hope. All I told H was, this is not gonna go down the way it did at Pebble. I said, it's gonna be a different result today. We're gonna get it done. I was mentally ready, I, my game was ready. At Pebble, I wasn't all that comfortable. I was my fourth tournament on tour, and I just wasn't all there. I was, I was going so fast, and I was going crazy, and I, I, I didn't really know what was going on, but at the Hope, I knew exactly what was going on. I knew the situation. I knew where my game was. I was mentally ready, and after the Pebble, I, I couldn't wait to get that day back to where I could redeem myself, and it came together. When I hit the shot on 18 that I needed to, there's no greater level of satisfaction than that. When you know you gotta do something, you pull it off is, um, just incredible. Wow, enjoy the walk. It was a hell of a walk. I mean, a 200 yard walk, I got 50 friends and family there and it was just incredible. There's no word to explain it. It's just watching someone you love doing something they've wanted and they've worked for since they were three. I mean, I can't even imagine that for him, how amazing that felt for him. I wish I could have gone and jumped in the crowd. I was so excited, I really didn't know what to do. It couldn't have been scripted any better for me. With a win under his belt, Perez has his sights set even higher for 2010. I'd like to win again, if not two. I'd really love to be on the Ryder Cup. And I'd really love to play on Corey's team. I know I'm good enough to play on one of these teams, and I'd just like to get on one eventually. Perez's road to that first tour title wasn't as bumpy as you might think. In the nearly 200 tour events he played before winning, he finished in the top 10 26 times including a pair of runner-up finishes his rookie season. Stats in sports have always captivated our nation, and it rarely matters which sport, or for that matter, which stat. The numbers are dizzying. Stats give us water cooler talk and offer facts. They're not formed from chance. RBIs, goals, driving distance, miles per hour, whip. What is whip anyway? There's even a stat called VORP. Does a golfer worry about stats? Putts per round, greens and regulation? Maybe. There is one stat across the board that's black and white. No gray area here. Wins. I just got tired of getting upset all the time. You know, it's a lot of energy. 
It took Pat Perez seven years before his first win on the PGA Tour. Seven years. There's a lot more like him. A lot more. More who want that first win. Ian Poulter's won. His 18 career top tens are nice, but nothing matches a win. It drives me. Of course, I'm upset, but there's two ways you can take that. You can spur that into making you a better player and someone that tries harder. Same can be said for Justin Rose, who peaked at sixth in the world without winning on the PGA Tour. I definitely feel winning on the PGA Tour is the next step for me. It's obviously a career goal. It's a progression, something I'm working hard towards. But it's also something I feel like I'm not trying to put too much pressure on either. I just think I need to believe in myself and just really walk over the finish line. Just believe I can do it and go and do it. Pressure can build when you don't win. Attitudes and perceptions can be altered. Something Bronny Bear will not let happen after his best season on tour did not include a win. I played well for an entire year. I took pride in that. If you judge yourself solely on winning tournaments, it wasn't a success at all. I don't rate myself strictly on winning tournaments, and I wouldn't trade anything to win a tournament. Time can be an agent of disaster for those still trying. Brett Quigley has played 1,118 rounds and counting without a win. Last year, he finished runner-up three times by a total of five strokes. Patience can be rewarded. At least Tim Clark hopes so. Yeah, I've progressed from the Nationwide Tour to the PGA Tour. I feel every year I get more comfortable. I really feel like I've started to play well in majors. That's probably what gives me the most confidence to perform well in the bigger tournaments. In Clark's nine years on tour, he has seven runner-up finishes and has made more money than any player without a win. Stats. Like him or hate him, they are all consuming. Try telling these guys stats don't matter. Up next, in a field full of winners, along with major champs and, yeah, hotshot rookies, Ryan Palmer's trip to paradise finds him a long-lasting souvenir at the Sony Open in Hawaii. I'm just doing my thing, yo. I'm just doing my thing, yo. I'm just doing my thing, yo. It's 19 to the front, 20 to carry. <laughs> tear it up to date. Even professionals can make a mess of the office. That's why there's Jenna King, the king of clean. As the leader in commercial cleaning services, Jenna King makes sure that every workplace is ready for tomorrow. Another win. Let's go see accounting. Paradise. You're on a tropical island with great weather, stunning backdrops. Especially when we play in Maui, we're up on the side of the hill and it's just, you see another island over there and see whales breaching out of the ocean. I mean, Hawaii is just a beautiful place. To actually win the Tournament of Champions, it's awesome. Walking down the 18th hole there, it's just oceans and Molokai and the Dijon and it's a stunning place to be. It was pretty special. Wynn puts golf grip innovation in a whole new light. With the new Wynn Light technology, we've cut the weight of a conventional golf grip in half. We reduce the overall weight of the club so you can increase your swing speed and achieve greater distance. Wynn Light grips improve club head feel and swing tempo, resulting in more solid contact and more accurate shot making. You generate better launch angles and achieve higher ball flight with a lot less effort. Go lighter, go faster, go farther with Wynn Light grip technology. Are you one of the millions of people struggling to learn a new language? Well, thanks to our breakthrough software called Rosetta Stone, learning a new language is now incredibly easy and a whole lot faster. I've probably learned more in the first two weeks than I have in months of taking formal classes. Rosetta Stone is so fast and effective, it's used by the U.S. State Department, NASA, the U.S. Army, and Fortune 500 companies, and is the world's leading language learning software. It's almost like having your own person there teaching you, your own private tutor, who is just very relaxed in your home with you, sitting there teaching you the language. Rosetta Stone is the fastest way to learn a new language. And to prove it, we'll send you our amazing demo CD absolutely free when you call. This really is a great program. I believe that you can learn any language with this program. So call now or visit our website and see for yourself why Rosetta Stone is the fastest way to learn a new language guaranteed. Golf Channel Wednesday. Golf 2K10's just getting started. 
and the stars are out in the California desert for the Bob Hope Classic. Some of the PGA Tour's biggest personalities are ready to rock alongside top celebrities. The race for the FedEx Cup begins its West Coast swing. Be there for all five rounds of the Bob Hope Classic beginning Wednesday live at 2.30 Eastern and in prime at 9 only on Golf Channel. Inside presents the Road to Atlanta. Well, this week the PGA Tour returns to the mainland for the 51st Bob Hope Classic. As always, a plethora of A-list celebs will be on hand for all the fun and excitement as the best players in the biz battle in the only five-day competition of the year. Tackling 90 holes, spanning four courses at the home of the Hope, PGA West. Some PGA Tour stars to watch in the deserts. Justin Leonard into the winner's circle in 2005. Leonard makes his 13th appearance at the Hope, seeking redemption after a playoff loss late last year. The 97 British Open champ is poised to begin the decade with a win. 2009 Masters runner-up Chad Campbell broke through at the Bob Hope Classic back in 2006, capturing his third tour title by three. But Campbell's itching to get into the winner's circle after two playoff losses in 09, as well as a top 10 at the Hope. Reigning Nationwide Tour Player of the Year Michael Sim will tee it up in his first PGA Tour event of the new year. Three-time winner on the Nationwide Tour last year, can Sim find the winning touch on the PGA Tour? 10. Tim Clark has two top five finishes in La Quinta, along with Justin Rose, Mike Weir, Scott Verplank, and Brand Snedeker. They form a strong field this week at the Hope. As we've seen, winning on the PGA Tour is difficult, but perhaps an even greater challenge is staying on top once you get there. Ryan Palmer knows this better than most. Palmer closed his rookie season with a win at the 2004 Children's Miracle Network Classic. But his next victory didn't come until his second to last start of 2008 at the Ginser Mare Classic, a span of 114 starts. A disappointing 09 season follow with 13 missed cuts and just one top 10 in 26 starts. If you look at my last three years, I've had one good tournament, and that was again, unfortunately I won it. In spite of all the ups and downs, Palmer isn't one to make excuses, even though off-season shoulder surgery and the birth of his second child could explain his 09 struggles. I wouldn't say that was the reason I didn't perform well. Just one of those years, just, I won the year before, so I guess you could say I got like, like a days ago with the game and sitting back on the exemption. While Palmer was anything but at the Sony Open in Hawaii, entering the final round tied for the lead with Robert Allenby. I just told myself, I was even par. Let's go play golf today, try to shoot around on a par, and see where we stack up at the end of the day. So I kept calm and relaxed and knew if I held on right around Robert, I'd be right in the middle of it. Still tied with Allenby, going to the 72nd hole. Palmer nearly chipped in for eagle, but was forced to settle for a tap in birdie and his third career tour victory. What I got out of this is beyond words. It was a great field. I mean, some of the top four players here today is probably one of the most best rounds of golf I've ever experienced. With the win, Palmer is now tied with Jeff Ogilvy atop the FedEx Cup point standings. He also vaults 190 spots to 92nd in the official world golf ranking, qualifying for the Players, the Masters, and the PGA Championship. What a way to start a year. Now I've got some tournaments to get ready for and get excited about, so the pressure's off now. Let's go out and enjoy the year. If Ryan Palmer can continue the success of the previous two Sony Open champions, he should be in for a special season. Both KJ Choi and Zach Johnson made it to the Tour Championship, finishing in the top 10 of the FedEx Cup standings. Coming up, we're with Phil Mickelson as he reflects on his first PGA Tour victory as an amateur. I can't believe I put that helmet on either. That was dumb. Also, the Golden Bear celebrates his golden years. Inside the PGA Tour, brought to you by Wind Grips. Go lighter, go faster, go farther with Wind Light Grip technology. Hi, I just switched jobs and I want to roll over my old 401k into a Fidelity IRA. Okay, no problem. Easy to get started. I can help you with the paperwork. Um, 
This green line just appeared on my floor. That's guidance from Fidelity. It's the route to your financial goals. Could you hold on a second? Whatever your destination, Fidelity has the people, guidance, and investments to help you find your way. Now this is going to be helpful. Contact us today. Fidelity Investments. Turn here. I believe in helping children and families in need. I believe the arts can help people with disabilities. I believe every mother should have access to quality prenatal care. I believe in supporting our wounded warriors and their families. I believe in funding medical research and education. I believe when natural disasters strike, we should all lend a hand. At the PGA Tour, we believe in helping others. Because together, anything's possible. It all starts when we make an impact by ensuring the legacies of those who will forever inspire us, by giving back to our communities, and securing the future of those who will make their own mark someday. Join with the Shell Oil Company to support the World Golf Hall of Fame, the First Tee, and golf events like the Shell Houston Open to make an impact today and tomorrow. It's just one more way Shell provides solutions to some of the challenges that all of us face by making an impact. dreaming of paradise and book your luxury Hawaiian golf vacation now. Don't just squeeze golf into your Hawaiian vacation. Plan around your round with HawaiiGolf.com. Powered by Golf Channel. On the PGA Tour, together, anything's possible. Next week on Inside. And action. We're all access behind the scenes on the set of CSI, where Rocco Media takes a stab at acting. Ah, TV. I like it. This week in PGA Tour history, it was possibly the greatest beginning to a PGA Tour career ever seen when amateur Phil Mickelson stunned the golf world, capturing the 91 Northern Telecom Open at 20 years of age. I'll never forget that putt right there. That was the biggest putt of my career arguably because it set everything up from there. It gave me an opportunity to come straight out on tour right from college without having to go to Q school. I can't believe I put that helmet on either. Four years later, Mickelson returned to the hallowed fairways of his breakout win, cementing himself in the record books by becoming the first player ever to win the same tournament as both an amateur and a professional. Time to take a look around the world of golf in our Inside Minutes. Two new sponsors were added to the PGA Tour schedule this week. The Farmers Insurance Open at famed Torrey Pines next week will benefit the Century Club of San Diego. And RSM McGladry, along with the Davis Love Foundation, will sponsor the McGladry Classic in October at Sea Island, Georgia, benefiting the Special Olympics. Another new tournament sponsor, Waste Management, was also welcomed to the tour last week. Defending champion Kenny Perry and three-time winner Arnold Palmer were in Scottsdale to help kick off the tournaments. In this tough economic time, to uh, see a company come in and step up to support the tour that I've been a part of for the past 25 years, I thank you. And on Thursday, Jack Nicklaus will celebrate his 70th birthday. Over four years removed from his last official competition, Golden Bear hasn't slowed down from his various roles as head of a golf course design firm and golf equipment company, author, or tournament host. Happy birthday, Jack. We're out now at Estancia. We just had a little bit of lunch. I got the guys together. We got Pat Burrell, Al Regal, call him the Beagle. He's one of the, one of the Muppets here. Uh, we don't have the second one with us. The two old guys in the balcony. Uh, two old guys in the balcony, you know, Walter and Statler. He's Walter. We got my brother, won the big break this year. Um, you know, we're just gonna play a little golf. Looks like we got some rain coming, so we're gonna try and get a couple holes in. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, Al, what are you doing? 
It doesn't matter how many balls he hits. Whichever one ends up in play, that's the one he counts. Talk me through what you got going here. Well, she's she's going to go right at the end, but this she's not going right at the end. She's going left at the end. She's going right off the start. All right, well, you, you hit the putt then. You got the answers. Holy cow. If he could back up 10% of what he talks about, he'd be an incredible player. It's three for me, by the way. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> Well, I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today, checking out my house and my club and my cars. Thanks again for joining Inside the PGA Tour. This is Pat Perez. We'll see you later.